clearing the head space. Come on in and join me. Clearing the head space. Welcome everyone. Welcome, tuning in an hour later, Sunday evening, time to really pull the energy in and focus for the week. We have a big week. We have a big, big, intense week. We really do building up towards that lunar eclipse, full moon, lunar eclipse. We're in Scorpio. There's a lot building in the cosmos. So just take a moment, take a breath. Notice what you feel. Hey, Ernest, how are you on the other side of the world? How's everything over there? A lot of intensity in the world, as we were saying, a lot of intensity. <clears throat> so there is also a lot of old energy, old judgments, old feelings, lots of fear, lots of rage, all of that kind of surfacely floating around in the universe. What are you attracting into your own perception, right? It is going to be an intense week. It really is. So welcome, everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my Empowered Spirit Show. We come on live. We talk about the podcast. We also talk about the cosmic forces. And I will pull some cards. Doing well. Okay, good, Ernest. Yay. So, yes, it's going to be an intense week. It really is. It's going to build as we get through. We're going to start an Aquarius energy, some of that water, air, dreamy and then we're going to move into Pisces, which is more of the water energy, I should say, as we get into Taurus by the end of the week for this full moon lunar eclipse. It's the last of the eclipse. It's more intense. We've got the Scorpio energy, a lot of conjunctions going on. But the thing is, all right, new moon, we set the intentions. Full moon, we're still building, building. So it is going to feel more intense. It always feels more intense on the full moon. We just have more emotional energy. We feel fuller of our emotions. We're holding and so like full moons, this is going to feel even more intense. But what we want to do, we're in like this portal of energy. We've been in it since last week. We've got all this week. And we want to kind of go through this portal of energy. And it's kind of like, whew, open up, open up to whatever it is you want to move through. It's like, this is about change. The cosmos want to help you move through, get out of the comfort zone, open up to new paths. I know it's not easy. All right. I know I have my own work to do, but it can be swift if you want it. I can already feel the intensity too, Ernest. I can too. I noticed it today. Had to kind of pull back my energy, had to create some boundaries, had to say some no's, which is what you may have to do all week. A lot of energy pulling in the cosmos. But the best thing that we can really do, come back to our center, come back to connecting to source, not pull away, not feel isolated, not feel lonely. And we do that because we feel like we're the only ones. We're not reaching out. So this full moon eclipse can also help you to recognize, get a little help. Go ask somebody to talk to you. Maybe even get some therapy, get some spiritual work, get some healing work, right? Definitely. I know I have been. I've been getting my own treatments and working with my own energy. And I think that's really important because the eclipses have the potential to make big, swift changes. So you've been working along, working along, and here we open up to this portal of energy. Chances are you can move through it in a little bit easier way. All right, these eclipses and this energy is here. To help all of us, all of us evolve, we need to change. We need to go through that kind of energy intensity to kind of really, you know, it's like stretch, come back and center, right? It's like, that's what we need to do. So this week is offering you that opportunity to really take note, your relationship with yourself. First and foremost, we talked about this in the last eclipse, when we can find peace within ourselves, everybody else around you can do the same. And then we all can live in this beautiful connected energy of feeling more peaceful and less judging, right? So this week, it's going to be a very important week to really find some courage in how you want to show up, how you want to make changes. The best way to do it is take some time for you. Ground your energy, feed on the earth, pull into your heart, feel that connection with greater source, spirit, creator, co-creating your life. Take some deep breaths and really ask yourself, what do I want to change? How do I want to finish out my year? We're coming to the end of the year, right? And that's really the energy of this week. It really is. So check it out. Be careful in your energy, careful in getting too much fire energy. Scorpio brings that intensity. All right. I have Scorpio rising, so I can attest to that. Note where your own energy is. Practice breathing, meditation, Reiki, any of the healing arts that can help you really move through your energy is going to be very powerful. So this week on the podcast, great guest, Reverend Valerie Love. 
She talks about witch energy. She has a new book out, Witch. And she really also talks about Christian witch and how it's time. And I love this time to open up perspective and blend our modalities and allow everybody to show up at the sacred circle. Bring your Bible, bring your crystals, bring your wand, bring your broom. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter because they were talking about the witch's code in there. I love the I love the podcast, the integrity to know, to dare, to will, to be silent, to really have the integrity to learn your practice. I love it. And right now, more than ever, really opening up to the way that you feel, the way that you can navigate, create magic in your life is so important. Great podcast. Check it out. Power Spirit Show. You can find it on any of your podcast platforms. Shout out to my guest, Murd, over at Hair, at uh, Forecast Salon. Also, Club Forecast Salon. Check them out for sure. And thank you for sponsoring us. That's that's really greatly appreciated. Just had my hair done. Actually, last week, give them another shout out. I appreciate my sponsors and I appreciate all the support, all the support we have in our community to help us make the changes. You know, it really is important right now. So as we go to move through this week, what you want to do is find ways to ground your energy, pull it in, notice the fullness. All right, everybody's going to be talking about put your crystals out. Sure, you can. I've got a guest coming on this week about the crystals. We didn't really talk about that, but it is up to you how you want to work with your crystals. The full moon just reminds us, don't forget to really put some attention into your crystals. All right, you may hear that coming up as well. But whatever you can do to start preparing yourself for this week is going to be very helpful to center to ground and to know what those steps are to make those changes. All right, don't be alone in the world. Reach out, find a circle to connect with. Really important that you can feel that community and not the isolation. Starting out this week, Aquarius. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll move into some Pisces, which is deep and sensitive. All right, and then we'll move through the Aries until we get to the Taurus at the end of the week, which is what the energy of the eclipse energy is about. Taurus ruled by Venus, our beauty, our money, our relationships, all of these things are coming around again for us to view. And I always like to say, go back to that relationship with yourself first and foremost. All right. So let's just take a moment, center our energies, set some intentions for where you are. So if you can find something to light, fire is transformation, a lot of fire in the skies, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, calling in the element of fire, feeling that spark within yourself, Watching as it moves and changes and calling in air, the element of air. See the smoke, smell, cleanse the mind, cleanse your space. Taking another deep inhale, dropping right into the heart, opening up to the element of water. Let water just wash right through you. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, very important as we move through this week. Feel Mother Earth under your feet. Offer her some love, some gratitude. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body and exhale, just dropping right into the heart, calling in your spirit, feel the spiritual body coming in, call it in, <clears throat> feel it connecting to the greater source, co-creating your life. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body and exhale, breathing all the way back down, taking a moment, pausing in the center of your heart. Taking a moment so I don't choke. <clears throat> Just notice. Notice where you are on this great wheel of life. Where you are right here in the season of fall. We're deep in it now. Colors are changing. Days are shorter. Temperature is shifting. Some places. Where are you? What can you do to find the courage to make changes? Step forward. Move through this portal of energy. Let the cosmos help you. Notice for yourself, what is it? One thing, two things. Even just setting that intention. That's what we want to do this week is set the intention. Allow the light of the moon as it grows to really open up. But you see what you need to see in those intentions. And just let it radiate out all around you. As we send it out, we call in the directions to the west, the north, the east, and the south. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Just feeling into those intentions, feeling into this portal of energy opening up, allowing you to move through with grace, with courage, making the shifts and changes for you. Taking another deep inhale and exhale all the way down, grounding, just noticing that strength in your solar plexus, your power, 
opening that third eye, sending these messages out there for you. And as you're ready, just blinking the eyes back open, coming back. All right. Got a little choked up there, didn't I? Spirit loves amusement. All right. We're going to pick some cards. We're going to look at our overall focus, draw some cards to help us understand. Then I'll be happy to draw anybody else a card as well. Woo, baby, we're starting with the devil. But I love this card for all of us because the devil is self-sabotage. And we're talking about moving through this portal of change, portal of energy. So don't let yourself get caught in all those outside addictions, shiny objects, the things that you turn to so you don't have to make a step forward. It's so easy to get self-sabotage going. All right, a great reminder. Where are you giving your power away? Where are you letting yourself again? This is what the eclipse is about. This is what the nodes are about. Staying in your comfort zone. All right. This is that number one thing that'll do it. Oh, well, if I don't show up for me, no one will know. Or if I don't try, then I can't fail, right? That's self-sabotage. And that's not what the eclipses are about. And you'll feel it. You'll feel the struggle just in a different way. Hey, Dawn. All right. Drawing three cards that are going to help us. We got the Empress and two air cards. So this is a beautiful card because this reminds us the Empress aligned with Mother Earth. Feel that creativity. Feel that fertile force of energy. Be with the stars, the moon. Have all that energy. Work with the cosmos. Let it push you through. Work with the cosmos. So the goddess reminds you, get outside, do a ceremony. Really appreciate the cosmic forces all around us. I know I saw some crazy things in the sky today. I've been reading about on TikTok and listening to it. I know I saw a few little crazy things today. Who knows? All right. But be in touch with Mother Earth and notice what you notice. We'll leave it at that. The next card is the Nine of Air. This is about the mental state that you're in. This is about letting your mind talk you out of everything. Hello. Number one, self-sabotage is our own mind. We get into the chatter, blah, 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 blah. I want to do this. I don't want to do this. Yes, you can, you can. This is saying that you're keeping yourself up at night. You're not being able to hear your higher guidance. It's time to let this go. It really is. You're getting caught in the drama. So where can you let the drama go? Get out of self-sabotage so you can align with the cosmic forces and really open up. Changes in the air. We all know this. This is what this card is about. But, but. The beautiful thing about this card, five of air, changes in the air. This shows this beautiful figure standing in their truth. Know your own mind. Stand in your truth. Even if it seems hard, let the rest go away. Let it be a challenging time because that's how we make changes, right? Let it go. Let the conflict go, but stand in your truth. This is a way to step forward through this portal, not getting caught in the distractions of the mind nor the sabotages either. So big week as we move through, love the cosmic forces of the goddess, right? That's where we really want to be. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Let me know how it resonates with you. If you'd like me to draw a card, if you're already feeling that full moon, I know I am. Let me know as well. All right. So I'm going to draw one from Marissa and Mark. They're in Boston. All right, Marissa, seven of water. So sometimes, Marissa, it can be a lot of emotional energy going on right now, especially, right? You're going to feel this with this full moon. It was all y'all's birthdays and everything. So don't get yourself into too much trauma, but focus in. One-pointed focus when this card comes up, especially with that emotional energy. Be sure to let it go. And then Mark, five of earth. So Mark, this is about like boundaries, not getting into the comparison. I know you're from Canada, you're in the States. Let it go. Just have a nice boundary for who you are. Five is our earth in the physical world. And maybe you can use this kind of time. It's actually your birthday too. Happy birthday. To let you um, use the changes for growth. That's what, the, that's what the energy is about for you right now, especially with the eclipse season as well. All right, Ernest. Ernest, you got the chariot card. This is about really reminding yourself to harness all the skills that you have, horsepower, choose your path. If you feel like you've gotten off of it a little, come back, keep strong, know that all the tools are right there. You've got the sun overhead. You've even got that infinite potential right there. You know, the beautiful thing about being on your path and using the idea of infinite potential and letting go is that there's always going to be more. And as you open up, you'll find there's more possibilities, not less when we let go. All right. Love that. Mert, Mert, I gave you a shout out. All right, Mert, this is a son of water. So this is about people pleasing. 
I hate to tell you, but this is about like being doing everything for everybody, always showing up with things enough. Pisces energy, I always say. So this is like the water, the emotional, oversharing a little bit, overgiving. So make sure to check into your boundaries, especially as we move into this full moon. This will only drain you. So check in. I know you I know you've been doing great boundary work, but just check in a little bit more of where that is. All right. Yes, a good reminder for sure. Horsepower, yes, for sure. All right, anybody I missed, if you're still here. All right, some heart cards there. All right, anybody else? I think that's all I see. So it is an intense week. Take some time for yourself this week. Pull your energy in. Notice what you're noticing. Notice what it will take for you to have some courage to step through this portal and make some big shifts. And it could happen easily, swiftly, as we work with the cosmic forces. All right, let's see, before I before I sign off, let's see, I had a couple announcements. I'll be at Ritual Shelter Saturday reading cards. Come find us there. We'll be having lots of fun Saturday all the way through Halloween. Lots of fun over there. I know she's having a celebration. We have an anticipated yoga event, if you're local, at the Yoga Circle the first weekend in November. It's going to be a fun weekend about really finding yourself, understanding diet, yoga, and some of the stuff we don't always talk about in a yoga class. Energy work, Ayurveda, the sister science of yoga as well. All right, you guys, check it out. Check out the podcast. Dr. Valerie Love was great. Her podcast and her openness, I just love blending the energies. Really great work. Thank you again to Forecast. All right, so let's go to close the energy. Take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale all the way down, deep into Mother Earth. Coming back into the heart. Feeling into your emotions, feeling into your intentions as you set them this week. Feel strong in your power. Heart opening, third eye shining your light. Inhaling and exhaling. Bringing the awareness back. Grounding, centering, blinking the eyes back open. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.